We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're diving in. We're checking out Curious Expedition 2. It is by, and I'm going to butcher this, I apologize in advance, Maschinen Mensch and Thunderful Publishing releasing originally on January 28th, 2021. They had sent out a whole bunch of information and like, hey, you want to cover this? You want to cover that? I knew I was going to be super busy and I kind of was like, I can't. I don't want to accept it and then not be able to do it. Anyway, uh, long story short, they kept reaching out. I was like, hey, you know what? I'd love to do it, but I've been super busy and it's probably going to be another week before. They said, you know what? Check it out. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. And here we are, guys and gals. I'm finally getting to dive in and check it out. I remember playing the first one briefly. I think I played it a couple of hours and I was really wanting to do more coverage and I just never really did. So... Let's hop in and just treat this as a, a whole new experience, because that's really what it is. I've not actually played this before. The morally certain are fools, but we at, must act like fools at times if great things are to be accomplished. I was returning from a routine expedition to Peru when we spotted a great storm brewing on the horizon. The crew prepared to divert around it, but I glimpsed something inside. Land! An island in the middle of the Atlantic where none should be. Over the protests of the captain, I gave orders to head for the island. Trembling but compliant, the crew steered us into the heart of the storm. That looks nasty. This dude did not do well. The tempest raged with an unnatural fury. A strange fog enveloped us and lightning crackled all around. The vessel was almost torn asunder by the crashing waves. Oh, look, another friend of the fallen other guy, probably. They, they look like they know each other. It's like, Bob, I don't think this is going so well. I know! Yet, just when death seemed certain, we emerged from the maelstrom into an almost perfect call. New objective, explore the island. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Directly ahead lay a lush tropical island. The storm safely behind us, we prepared to lay anchor and see what wonders this new land held. It looks so cool. I like this. We're seeing the peaks and stuff. That's kind of cool how the map is filling out slowly. Okay. I know this route well. This island wasn't here before. Uh, okay. Well, like I said, it has been a very long period of time since I last played the original Curious Expedition, so I guess we're going to travel here. Sanity. Each move costs sanity. Well, you pay a travel start cost each time you move. Making fewer moves is more efficient. Ah, okay. All right, well, I guess I'm going to head all the way up here then. Do, 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 do. Look at our people waddling. Look at them waddle. Look at them. They're so cool. Alright, we're going to travel there now, I suppose. Around the tree line. Oh, unknown location found. Move within two tiles to reveal it. There's something over there. Well, I was already moving there, guys. I'm just not going to move just two tiles. I'm going right up on it. It's a shipwreck. Let's explore it. And oh, an old ship. Fascinating. Explore. How the devil did it get here? I came across an astounding discovery. The wreck of what looked like an old British naval ship. I couldn't help but wonder how it had come to rest here. I don't like the look of this. With every step we took on the strange island, we seemed to encounter another mystery. Search the ship. Carefully testing the rotten planks before entering, we made a thorough inspection of the ship. After a time, we found several items of value. We found some dinamate and a shovel. Usable map and relief home without it. It can be used to dig up things. Oh, chocolate. Nice. Take all. A dead end. Use the dinamate. Oh, interesting. Nothing will stand in our way. I say nothing.
Uh oh, something's going down. A small group of indigenous people are hurried to our location, seemingly drawn by the sound of our dynamite. This place is inhabited? They seemed as shocked, shocked to see us as I was to see them, yet one, once the initial wonder wore off, they demanded to know where or who we were and how we got here. Uh, how do you know that? Tell the truth. Boast of your great magic. Boast of my great magic. Dry myself to my full height. I proclaimed that I was a shaman of great power, gesturing to the ruined mountain behind us. I gave evidence of my power. Behold in trouble before my might! Suitably impressed, they treated us with a newfound respect. We made no friends here, but fear is often more useful than love in hostile lands. Standing represents your reputation with the locals. Okay. Okay. Hoping to appease us, they gave detailed instructions to their village, where I might find rest and food. Then, making obvious excuses, they went on their way. The roba, quaba, huba, something, another, ba. Yeah, that. Standing represents... Okay, cool. So the village on the map. I mean, I, I assume we want to go that way. Oh, we can zoom out pretty far. It does say to visit the village. Well, I say we go here. We are waddling on down. Low sanity. To recover sanity, sanity use uh, stuff like chocolate and whiskey. All right, we use that. Uh, our sanity is what? 38, okay. Travel. All right, we have approached, or we are gonna approach the village. We made it to the village, we traveled there. And hopefully we can get some rest and whatnot. We approached with caution, but they welcomed us with open arms. It seemed word of our arrival had already reached the village. We come as friends. Interestingly, they did not seem as shocked by our strange appearance as I would have expected. One would almost suspect that we were not the first foreign visitors. Rest in the village. Trade. The man from the village carried over a heavy bag, revealing the village's trade goods. Okay, we can barter. Offer extra items to get a plus three standing. Oh, they want me to do more? I came to an agreement with the natives. Excellent doing business with you. Meet the with the ruler. Requires a standing of three. Okay. I strode into the hut where the ruling council held their hearings. An elder stepped forward and greeted us with a warm smile. We were allowed one request. A moment of your time, high ones. Recruit a local. Ooh. Pleasure to meet you, my lords. Recruit. I requested the favor to gather any who were willing to join the track. Who to choose? The native scout or the native shaman? Heal. All allies. Times two. The right of pain. The scout. Shield damage 15. Flank the enemy, cunning. I'm gonna go with the shaman. Did I truly want to recruit Rizodin, the native shaman? Yeah, I guess I did. Joined our trek. Thank you, Rizodin. Uh, I see you feel the same way. My request granted, I bowed to the council and left them to their business. Farewell, honorable ones. Rest to gain sanity. I emerged from the hut, blinking rapidly as my eyes adjusted the light outside. We'll lose two of our standing with the village. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. Let's set up camp. That evening, the villagers were planning a ritual dance that seemed to serve as an appeasement of their gods. They called these deity uh, pal palikeo, a strange word sounding foreign to our tongues. Apparently, these gods were builders of great magical artifacts. I was invited to join their dance to honor the great builders. I considered carefully refusing might offend them, but a false step would be an even greater insult. I will do the best I can. 
I have rolled green. I have success. The rhythm was entrancing. To my surprise, I managed to follow the complicated pattern without missing a step. Because I'm amazing. I finished the dance with a flourish, and the natives erupted into cheers, clapping me jovially on the shoulder. They gave me a gift to show their appreciation. Ooh, a spear plus one. What? The evening's activity is complete. We settled in for a quiet evening by the fire before retiring to our bedrolls. Equip your spear and manage. Uh, okay. Select Victoria Malin. <laughs> and then the spear. Oh, okay. Well, okay. These activities complete with settled and quiet of bedrolls. Got sleep. She's got the spear. I like that it appears on her character, too. Which is pretty darn sexy. Day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. Oh, God. Was I supposed to stop resting at some point? I enjoyed the safety of the village for several days. The natives seem, seemed undisturbed by my presence. Why does it say minus two to our standing? Oh, oh, we did get that after all. May now do as you wish. You may want to rest again to recover more sanity. Now I'm good. Let's trade again. Well, the met revealing the good border or barter. Sorry, over borders. Uh, equipable in hand. One map, some sanity. I got a shovel. Nah, you know what? I'm just gonna cancel. Oh, no, 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 no. That evening, I approached one of the natives in an attempt to learn their language. Once he understood what I wanted, he was delighted to teach me. I didn't mean to rest again, but apparently I did by clicking randomly at the wrong time. I have always found that the locals of any place are delighted to share their culture with strangers. One must simply take and uh, take the effort of reaching out. Though there wasn't much, there wasn't time to make much progress during our short stay. It was the beginning. It was a beginning. I believe the lessons were a pleasure for both of us. Thanks. I guess I'm gonna sleep again, and then they're gonna hate me. All right, well, we're fully rested now. So real quiet. Uh-huh. Cool. All right, time to leave. Bye. Told the crew to pack up and head out as new adventures were awaiting. Yay. All right. So now we get to do whatever it is that we want to do. I would like to go see what's over here, actually. I feel like the northern area is probably our more important adventuring spot, but there might be something cool going on over here, and it looks like indeed there is. All right, the stone statue. I had discovered a rough hewn idol. It's massive face, impassive and calm. It was a disconcerting sight and I was eager to move on. Yeah, that's creepy. I noticed a collection of offerings that had been placed here by some unknown natives. Examine the offerings. I think if I take those, that would be a bad... I'm not going to do it. Strange feeling came over me, and I decided to leave the offerings alone. Who could say who, could say who or what was watching? I'll leave an offering. A bit of chocolate. I placed my offering at the base of the statue. A wave of peace washed over me, and I knew that my sacrifice had been worth the cost. Adventure awaits! Cool. That was, that was good. That worked out. Alright. Well, we're going to head up here. It's going to be a long trek, but... Let's see what kind of uh, chicanery we can get ourselves into here. I love the little waddle they do when they're walking. That's so pleasing to me. I don't know why. This is really cool. As we ventured deeper into the wilds, Rizodin st stopped short and pulled me aside. It seemed that we were nearing a site of some interest, the old remains of what she described as the Pale Travelers. This certainly sounded worth investigating. Okay, the old camp. Let's head there. Waddle, 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 waddle. Waddle your butts on over there, guys. Yeah. Explore the old camp. 
That's what we're here to do. Uh-oh, there's some hyenas. <laughs> Skulls, that's fine. Uh, uh -huh, let's get those beasties. We approach the abandoned camp, hoping to find supplies and possibly answers. Unfortunately, a group of scavenging hyena were already there and attacked on sight. Combat! Let's roll the dice, guys and gals. All right, we got ourselves a heal. We got ourselves a spear thrust and a cracking wallop. All right, we've got this one. We got one roll left. Add the last die as well. I mean, we don't need to heal yet, so it makes sense. Fire ally. Who's gonna be punching right now? Is it gonna be him? Yeah, alright. Characters attack are much more powerful. Nothing can withstand a blow from you. That'll be enough to take him down. Alright, we took one out. Uh oh. Oh, you done got poisoned. Oh no. That's a disaster. Buff you up again. Gotta throw the heal on. Might makes right. At our boy. And we're gonna have to reroll all of these. Yep, I like it. Confirm. Oh, very nice. We'll hit it with a vulnerable attack to start with. Okay. And then we'll thrust at him with a spear. Wasn't quite enough to finish him, but I, it's okay. Alright. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was a big nasty hit there. Okay, big old punch. Bam. Follow up punch. Blap. Alright, down they go. We can take all. Well, we took what we could and cautiously approached the old campsite. Perhaps there were valuables that the hyenas hadn't destroyed. A character is ready to be promoted. Those little buggers didn't put up much of a fight, did they? D agree to disagree. Select the big game hunter. How could you tell that he's the one that needs to be selected? Other, I mean, I know it's telling me now, but like, is there any indication over here? Promote. You got ten experience. Okay. Oh, we have eighteen star. Oh, okay, we can promote any. Okay, I understand. His maximum health will go up to 80 from 75. Tally Ho, damage boost, and cracking wallop goes up, it looks like. Character is now stronger. Okay. We'll search the camp. I ordered to search the area, a feeling of dread prickling the back of my neck. I hope my trek would avoid the fate of those, or of these sorry explorers. Let's give it a quick once over. Alright, we got ourselves some whiskey, we got ourselves a silver vase, or vase, and an old diarrhea. Let's see, an account of a foolhardy explorer's final days. Alright, let's take them all. Among the camp stories, I found a tattered field journal within were the notes of an unknown adventurer. Reading the account, it seemed, to have, seemed he had fallen prey to the arrogance of many explorers and met his death after rejecting warnings from the natives. I did come across one intriguing passage, enormous structure, architecture unknown, technology far beyond our own, let alone these island savages. What purpose could it hold? He went on to give detailed directions to this strange structure. Fascinating. I simply had to visit. Show on map. Way up there, huh? All right. Well, I mean, I don't know the best... Path. I'm gonna om nom up on some chocolate. Trade or eat. All right, let's go with it. Let there be much rejoicing.
All right, we're going to make our way through. Oh, we're already in the negatives again, huh? Character promotable. You have enough experience to promote a character. Go to manage track. Select the character. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Let's go with this guy. We'll promote him. Approach the burial ground. There we go. I approached what seemed to be a sacred burial ground of the locals. I felt an uneasy shiver run down my spine. I had heard stories of the consequences of disturbing sacred ground. Uh, we could try making another offering. This time of uh, some raw meat and a hyena pelt. Maybe an animal tooth. There we go. No, oh, didn't like any of that. I like the shovel. What if I just offer the shovel? Oh no, okay, I see there. No deal. Okay, we'll do it. I place the offering atop the most impressive of the burial mounds, feeling at peace with my sacrifice. Cool, or standing one up by one. Go ahead and we're gonna eat some chocolate and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna approach the ancient structure. Kinda looks spooky. It actually looks very spooky. The haunting shape of the structure was like nothing I had seen in all my travels. The purpose was unknowable, but it seemed that it might be some kind of great ancient machine. As we approached, Rizodin began to tremble, panic on her face. She frantically warned us that the Palakeo gods would not tolerate intrusion into the sacred space. Calm her worries. Oh, I think we did it. Yeah. It was not easy, but I managed to convince Rizodin that our own powers were a match for the mystical Palakeo. Though she remained nervous, she would stay with us. Approach the altar. Approached the controls of the machine, a strange dread filled me as I drew closer. But the idea of turning back now was unthinkable. As I lay my hand upon the center crystal, a great creaking and clanking filled the air. What on earth? The surface grew hot to the touch, and a ghastly purple fog began to pour forth. I fled that place, the billowing fog chasing me back to my ship. I still ate with curiosity, but one must survive if one is to make great discoveries. Oh no. I have to get back to the ship. Jeez. Our sanity. Uh oh. No mistakes were made. Oh, this is bad. Are we gonna make it through the uh, the travel log here? Run like the wind, Binky. And Binky Jr. The purple fog is coming. I think we can make it there in one shot now. Maybe ahead of the purple fog. Probably not. Oh dear. There's some horrible spider monster that... Oh dear god, that's terrifying. 
Ouch. Oh no, it just double attacked us. Alright. Well, we got a lot of combat coming his way. Heal, right of unity, heals all allies. Select a die of the same color. Boosted attack is now much stronger. Boom! Ooh, we stunned him. Very nice. Especially the combat, don't forget to use your boosts. Okay, so we're good to go. End the turn. Okay, so he skipped one of his turns. Okay, I gotcha. Since he had two. I understand. I believe that's you. Alright, let's get you to get your old punch on. There it is. The creature was dead, the path to the ship clear. I sprinted madly for him, the breathing burning my lungs. Yeah, the fog really... Unexpected event, oh no. Stumbling through the fog, I lost sight of Rizodin momentarily. I would never see her again. Something's in the fog with us. It seemed our arrival on this strange island spilled only ill luck for the locals. Well, we got 20 sanity again after uh, killing off one of our people, I guess. Oh no. I think we just got the negative effect. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we're good again. Unexpected event, insanity event. Oh no. The mood was bleak amongst the trek, and it seemed that all were ready to give up and let this foul island take us. I confess, I too felt the malaise creeping in. At least it cannot go on. But no, I could not let my people die here. Marshalling all my resources, I roused them with an entreaty to stay resolute. By sheer force of will, we continued on. Hey, they're happy now. Set sail. Get out of here. A bad Juju Magumbo is going down. The dark fog had almost overtaken the ship as we scrambled aboard, the captain hurrying to set her in motion. As we sailed away, we watched it as it rapidly swallowed the island behind us. I do not know what would have happened if we had stayed, but I did not want to find out. After a time, the fog itself dissipated, leaving empty once leaving empty once behind where the island once was. That's a weird phrase. Uh, what new strangeness was this? Alright. Set sail for Paris. Continue. I arrived in Paris with a sigh. During the past weeks, I had thought of nothing but that mysterious island and the great machine I had found. I ached to return, but needed to resume my role as director of the Ex Exposition Universelle. I would have to find someone else to uncover the island's secrets. I pondered the challenges ahead, the difficulty this new explorer would face. We'll just go with adventurer, even though I probably should be going with traveler. Death consequence says wipe year. There are always more explorers. After death, restart current year with a new party. Okay. Gathering together the most accomplished explorers in Paris. I looked closely at each. Who would become my new right hand? I guess we don't have a lot of choices. We got Elijah Jeremiah Beryl, the big game hunter. And we got Jean-Pierre Maisonnet, uh, the anthropologist. We'll go with a big game hunter. Paris, France, 1886. We're about out of time for the episode, guys and gals. So I think what I'll do is I'll break it off right here, and we'll continue in the very next episode. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. For more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature will be all the information that I have been able to find for you. 
If you happen to enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, give me that thumbs up, guys and gals, feed the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, share all the all the stuff. And until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.